this is Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. We hope you like what you'll see and you'll hit that red subscribe button. We've got a brand new cooking video, something we recently tried in the Instant Pot for some goulash. This is a recipe I found online at a website called I Don't Have Time For That. I love the name. I will leave a link to the original recipe below. We made a couple of changes. I'll go over the list of ingredients with you really quick. We did cut this recipe in half since we are cooking for two. I used a half a pound of ground turkey, a can of tomato sauce, a can of diced tomatoes, some different seasonings and garlic. I would have used fresh if I'd had it. And for the pasta, I did use the traditional elbow macaroni. So let me show you how we made this Instant Pot goulash. I turned my Instant Pot on saute. When I can feel the heat with my hand, I go ahead and add the oil. It should shimmer. I went ahead and added the onion that I had cut up. I didn't let the onion brown. I just let it get soft and translucent and went ahead and added my meat and started browning it. I did make a few changes to the original recipe. I added some seasonings that I like to use in most anything that has meat in it. I added some onion powder, some garlic powder, a little dash of paprika. And then I decided to pull out my very favorite seasoning, which is a Mrs. Dash garlic and herb blend. And for whatever reason this day, I didn't feel like measuring, so I just sort of eyeballed everything. I did not get quite enough salt and pepper, so be sure to either measure it or use a little more than I did. We did just add it at the end and it worked out really good. I noticed that the meat was starting to stick a little, so I always take a little liquid, whether it's water or broth, and start deglazing the pan. That's one of the one cups of water that I need for my six quart. So I try to scrape up any of the little bits on the bottom and then add the rest of the liquid before we start pressure cooking. 